Good afternoon, dear children. Now, today we'll see the detailed explanation of the lesson Rich for the Top, Part 2, Maria Sharapova. So, yesterday in the last lecture, we have seen the summary of this lesson. Today, we'll paragraph wise, we will go to this lesson. Okay, so we will go to first directly the first lesson, first paragraph. Okay. There is something disarming about Maria Sharapova, something at odds with her ready smile and glamorous attire. Glamorous, you know, very attractive, uh, what we can say, very attractive, glamorous, you know, glamour like this, glamorous attire. And that something in her lifted her on Monday, 22 August. 2005 to the world number one position in women's tennis. All this happened in almost no time. Poised beyond her years, the Siberian born teenager took just four years as a professional to reach the pinnacle, to reach the pinnacle teenager girl. And dear children, don't fail to see, you know, in the YouTube and in the WhatsApp, you waste sometimes unwanted, unnecessary time in this to surfing unwanted things in the net, on net. But once you take out 5 to 10 minutes time and see this, which the 22nd August 2005, her memorable. So you will get something, you know, inspiration from that. If they or he can do, she can do, I can also. So see definitely, I hope you will definitely see this uh, moment, what she has achieved and how she has achieved, that is different. But the reward, what she got. And the Siberian born teenager took just four years as a professional to reach this pinnacle. However, the rapid accent in fierce, like fiercely competitive world began nine years before with the level of sacrifice few children would be prepared to educate. See, few children at the age of nine years, they do some other thing, but she started her journey from at the age of nine. Little Maria had not yet celebrated her 10th birthday when she was packed off to train in the United States. The trip, of, trip to Florida with her father Yuri launched her on the path to success and stardom. That journey started from her house to Florida with her father to become stardom. Yes, okay, but it also required a heart-wrenching two years separation from her mother, Elena. This complete two years, not only Maria Sharapova, but her father was also away from uh, his wife. Wrench, what is mean by wrench? Causing sadness causing sadness wrenching what it is written over here the required heart wrenching heart sadness she felt very sad heart wrenching that is sadness to apart from her mother wrenching two years separation from her mother elena the latter was compelled to stay back latter was compelled to stay back in Siberia because of a wise uh, visa restriction. Her mother couldn't go because of visa problem, visa restriction. The nine-year-old girl had already learned an important lesson in life that tennis excellence would only come at price. She learned all the things what is important in her life. I used to be so lonely, Maria, Maria Sharapova recalls. Whenever she sits, so she recalls, she remembers, she always feels very lonely as her mother is not with her. I missed my mother terribly. My father was working as much as he could to keep my tennis training going, so he couldn't see me either. 
he was so busy to keep me in training take to take training also need much money understand so father is also sometimes he also never sees me because i was so young i used to go to bed at 8 pm early night i used to go the other tennis pupil would come at 11 pm and wake me up and order me to tidy up the room and clean it see the other they used to come at 11 and she used to sleep very early because she was teenage so young girl and they used to tell her ki now you get up now so you clean up your room instead of letting that depress me i became more quietly determined and mentally tough i learned how to take care of myself i never thought of quitting because i knew what i wanted when you come from nothing and you have nothing then it makes you very hungry and determined i would have put up with much more humiliation put up faced i have to face everything thang uh, humiliation and insult that than that to stay fastly pursue my dream when they used to tell now you get up you clean up your room sometimes she felt bad but she didn't give up she did not quit up all these things will come in my life she used to um, tell her that no this is in my life i have to do because i have to achieve something so for that i have to compromise something so she was doing all over insulting humiliation all these things but she was doing all her work very perfectly ignoring all unwanted unnecessary things that toughness runs through maria even today not only those day when she got at the age of 2005 but now also she is doing the practice and the hard she is ready for ever for hard work it was the key to her bagging the women single by begging a single crown at wimbledon in 2004 and to her meteoric rise to the world number 1 post the following year she had thought that i want to beg that number 1 wimbledon women's uh, ladies you know that is a women's crown at women's single crown at wimbledon so uh, for that she was working very much hard while her journey from the frozen plains of siberia to the summit of women's tennis has touched the hearts of tennis fans for the youngster herself there appears to be no room for her sentiment the straight looks at the answers she gives when asked about her ambition make it imply am amply clear that she considers the sacrifice were worth it i am very 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 competitive i worked hard at that what i do it's my job this is her mantra for success when she got that wimbledon and she was the top uh, uh, in the tennis player the everyone asked her so she said that no this ha- i have to do all these things and this hard work i am very competitive i worked hard what i do i wanted this so i work hard for that and it's my job and this hard work only the hard work is the mantra to get success in everyone's life in any type of field if you are working as a super class one officer or you are working as a politician if you are working as a film actor or actresses as you are working as a ha- uh, housewife as you are working as a labor any field dear children if you go any field there if you want success there you want to sacrifice and that sacrifice that cost is hard work and determination and uh, punctuality ignore all the other things away from you so she said that uh, this hard work is my mantra for success 
Though Maria Sharapova speaks with pronounced American accent, she proudly parades her Russian nationality. Clearing all doubt, she says, I am Russian. It's true that the U.S. is big part of my life, but I have Russian citizenship. My blood is totally Russian. I will play the Olympics for Russia if they want me. See, nine years at the age of nine years, she went to Florida, USA, and then she played and she got the uh, fame, name and fame from there only but she says if I get chance to play for my Russia because I'm proud of my Russia because my blood is Russia I born there so I will be very happy to play for them likely any number of teenage sensation Maria Sharapova least fashion she as a teenage all the college girls college girls you know 16 years to 22 years children are there in the college they only do the fashion they only do all the things so she was also like that only she was she uh, she likes dancing she likes singing she likes to eat chocolates she likes to eat the pancake and she was very fashionable also different types of dresses and all then watches and the bracelets everything she wears okay like any number of teenage sensation maria sharapova list fashion singing and dancing as a hobbies she loves reading the novels of arthur Conan doyle her fondness of uh, sophisticated evening gowns appears at odds with her love and pancakes with a chocolate spread and fizzy orange drinks so she likes all these things maria sharapova cannot be pigeonholed or categorized or categorized you know pigeonhole pigeonhole you know what is mean by pigeonhole means somebody is there that nobody can tell her that put in a small holes means nobody can put her in a small holes her dreams are day big so she do does like that that is a, her category is a very big category not a small category so it is written here maria shara cannot be a pigeonhole or categorize her talent unwavering desire to succeed and readiness to sacrifice have lifted her to the top of the world few would grudge grudge her the riches she is now reaping this is what she has to say about her monetary gains from tennis of course money is a motivation money money see many people all are what the cricket icons are doing cricketers are doing they are playing to they are also getting money that motivation to do all these things is also one in one side that is a money so she says that what she says this is what she has to say about her mon uh, monetary gains from tennis of course money is a motivation tennis is a business and a sport but the most important thing is to become number one in the world that's the dream that kept me going motivation money was also there for motivation but that was the dream with me dream i had to get the number one's position in the uh, tennis world and i got it i got it through the hard work as she said the hard so to get the success what is the mantra hard work is a mantra if you're doing that mantra so you will get definitely success and whatever you think so here is a short uh, story of a lesson that is a part to maria sharapova i hope you understood this lesson Read this lesson once again and try to understand once again the full story. Thank you and have a nice day.